Co-directing is absolutely brilliant. Consider collaborating with other people. You will learn so much and the possibilities are endless. So, Helen, can we discuss um, how we work together in Take Part? Yeah, I, I just think we've gained so much from working together and I have gained so much from working with Adam. Over time, we've worked out what are your strengths, what are my strengths, and sort of between us, we've become this sort of perfect, magical director. So, in 2021, I made my co-directorial debut, a digital piece called The Interrogation. Oh yeah, so we worked on that together. Yeah. Uh, working with a writer and with Charlene mm -hmm. as a co-writer as well. Ultimately, it was Charlene's piece as she was the one starring in it. Um, and a big part of that was you um, working uh, on the research side of it, as well as the actual directing the final piece. All of us, her, Nick, me, Sean, Dunn, the writer, um, and the other cast and crew, all brought their own little elements of research and stuff to the table. So I think, being completely honest, I used to think of myself as a bit of a, a lone wolf when it came to sort of directing and facilitating. This way of working is not the norm. It's not the norm in participation spaces. It's, it's often it's one workshop leader kind of calling the shots and being in charge. So we work together, co-leading the diploma. Yes. How do we do that, Katie? <laughs> Well, we support each other in terms of being able to provide, I might do a few games, a few activities, but then I also support with all the other classes. Sometimes it's not about being in front of the class, giving kind of a lecture. Sometimes actually it's about being with a small group or being one-to-one -one with people, and that in itself is real leadership. I think that's something that you bring to our co-leadership partnership. Not only is it co-directing between you and I, but it's also co-directing, co-creation with, with all of the artists yeah. and collaborators we're working with. I think the top tips for co-directing is basically listening to your co-director, learning from your co-director, and bouncing ideas from your co-director as well, and working together as a team to listen to the participants, listening to their ideas and kind of honing in on their ideas and experiences to make their voices heard to the rest of the world. I believe very strongly that lived experience is imperative because you're going to get a far more authentic portrayal of autism or whatever other disability, if you have an actor that actually has that disability. We actually made the scripts, we did lots of focus groups with um, mm. other autistic people. Together we listened to a lot of different, quite horrendous um, experiences of accessing medical treatment. And then you and I sat together and kind of looked at what some of the main issues were. Mm. And I hope that the course keeps going for a long time because even some people from the course um, I think actually two, two or three people are actually asked about the Transforming Leadership Project, so already there are... There are students going, I could be Katie Cracknell. They can do it. But thinking about those participants as well, though, I think you bring something that I just never could because I have not been in their position. Having an autistic leader in the room is so powerful and just something that I, you know, I could never bring that by myself. I think it's, yeah amazing and I never want to work again without a co-facilitator and I never want to run workshops for learning disabled and autistic people without a learning disabled or autistic person in the room with me. It makes no sense to me anymore. It doesn't feel like I'm, I'm just consulting with you, it feels like you're very much part and parcel of me now <laughs> and, Honestly, and the other way around. Yeah, same. <laughs> It has genuinely completely changed my practice.